So guys, for the first step, you want to get to this screen. There are two ways to get to this screen I'm going to show you right now. So if you can sign into Windows, like me, I'm on Windows right now, you want to head over to search and type in reset this PC, click on it. And now next to advanced startup, you want to click on restart now, and then click on restart now again. It will then take you into that screen. Now for the second way, if you cannot sign into Windows, now to get to this screen, you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it on again. As your computer is turning on again, you're going to see the Windows loading screen. Once you see the Windows loading screen, you want to turn off your computer again and you want to repeat this three times. So turn off your computer and then turn it back on again. When you see the Windows loading screen, turn off your computer and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times and it will then take you into this screen. It will take us into here. It's going to say automatic repair. You want to click on advanced options. And now once you're on this screen, there's a few things we can try out. So for the first method, you want to click on troubleshoot and then click on advanced options. And then you want to click on start to repair. If you don't see start to repair, then you want to click on see more recovery options. And then it should appear right here. You want to let this diagnose your PC, see if this fixes your problem. If that did not work, that's fine. Now we're going to click on advanced options. And for the second method, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options. And then you want to find system restore. Here it is. You want to click on this. And now if you have a restore point already created on your system, you want to click on next and then go back to the restore point. You want to follow all the steps on the restore point and then that should fix your problem. If you don't have a restore point, that's fine. Click on cancel. For the next method, you want to click on troubleshoot advanced options and then you want to click on uninstall updates you want to uninstall the latest feature update click on this and then click on uninstall feature updates see if that works for you if that did not work now for the next method you want to click on cancel troubleshoot advanced options and then command prompt now once you're on this you want to type in sfc space forward slash scan now and then click on enter then you want to run this scan and then once you run that scan, now you want to type in chkdsk space full slash f space and then the drive where you have Windows installed on. Most likely it's going to be your C drive. It might be something else for you, but most likely it's going to be your C drive. So you want to type in the drive letter name and then colon and then click on enter. Now you want to wait for this to load as well. And now once that's been done, you want to close this out. And then you want to click on continue to Windows. See if that fixes your problem. Now if the problem is still not fixed, then you want to click on troubleshoot and then reset this PC. Hopefully you have your files backed up, but you can go with keeping my files. Hopefully they will keep a lot of your files or you can just go remove everything. So it's up to you. Choose one of these options, reset your PC, and then hopefully I'll fix your problem. 